everybody, welcome to another episode of Ask Ariana and for today's episode, I will be sharing with you guys how to get into the IT field even without experience. I created this video to help out those who are aspiring to have a career in IT but are struggling to find their very first entry-level job in IT. Because last year I was in the same situation where I also struggled so I wanted to share with you guys how I did it and some tips and advice on how to get into IT even without experience. So before we talk about the tips and advice I will be giving you to get into IT, I will be sharing with you guys a little background of my work history first. So currently I am working as an IT manager for a hospitality company. I think it's been a little over a year since I had my very first IT job and now I am working in the real field. So before that I actually studied IT in college. I studied Bachelor of Science in Information Technology but after that, after finishing college, I really didn't work in a real IT uh, field. Because I've been working in uh, different fields like multimedia arts, I was a graphic artist, I was a teacher, I was in medical field, I was a secretary. I did a, a lot of different things that are really uh, non-technical or not in the IT field. So I think I've been doing that for six years and then when I moved to America, I decided I wanted to get into IT. I wanted to get back into IT, which I study. But when I came here, when I moved here, it was really a struggle for me to find a, even an entry level IT job. Sorry, <laughs> even an entry level IT job because most employers require experience even for entry level, which I don't have. So it was really hard for me to get into that, and I felt a little hopeless because uh, I've been rejected a million times in interviews. I get to the point where I almost uh, gave up on having a career in IT. But uh, technology is really what, what I wanted to do, so I really persevered with that. So the next question would be, what did I do after all the countless rejections I had for lack of experience from IT employers? I actually did a lot of research through internet, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, social media, my friends and uh, family and my classmates before that has been working in IT and from the people I meet that also works in IT. So they gave me ideas and uh, advice on how to get my foot in the door even if I really didn't have experience. So here are the tips on uh, how to get into IT, especially those without experience or those who wanted a change in career and want to uh, have a career in technology. So the first tip that I will be giving you guys is to know your stuff. Employers wanted somebody who knows what they're doing of course. If you don't have any experience, that would really be hard to do and you would be thinking, how would I know my stuff or how would I have an experience if employers wouldn't hire me? It's like the chicken or the egg question, like who came first, the chicken or the egg? How would I get experience if nobody hires me? And employers often look for or require for experience when they're hiring somebody. So knowing your stuff is really helpful in proving employers that you could get the job done. So how do you know your stuff? There's a lot of ways you can gain knowledge in IT even if you never really had a formal education. By studying, reading books, the internet is a vast uh, resource where you could get a lot of tools and learning resources that you can study even in your own time. You can do a lot of self-studies through uh, researching stuff, through reading articles, reading books, and watching tutorials, taking online classes. That would be really, really helpful in order for you to gain knowledge in IT. That's a great start also, even if you don't have any hands-on experience. So before uh, you apply for a job in IT, if you never have an experience, try to know your stuff first. 
Taking online classes is also a great tip that I could give you because you can do it in your own pace. You can do it self-study. You can do it while working. You had a day job and then you can do it at night. You can do it on your own schedule. And most of the classes around are really cheap and or affordable, I mean. And some are really from certified schools or associations that could really get you a head start in IT if you really wanted to pursue IT even without any education or experience. Okay, so for tip number two, what goes next after you've known your stuff, you've studied, you've read all the books, you finish your courses, your online classes, you've watched a lot of tutorials, you've taken the basic software and hardware classes, what's after that? My tip is to get certified. This is very, very helpful, especially to those who never had a hands-on experience in IT or those who are just starting a career in IT. Getting certified means passing a certification under a certain specialization just like Microsoft, Cisco, CompTIA, networking, programming language. Getting a certification is really my advice to those who never had a formal education or hands-on experience in IT because it shows employers that you have a working knowledge on the certain topics or concepts that you passed in that certification and you are also uh, committed to learn and educate yourself even if you don't have any hands-on experience. So my advice to those who are just starting out a career in IT is to take CompTIA A+. This is a certification that tests your basic understanding and knowledge and skills in basic computer hardware and software. So this would prove that even if you have no experience, at least you have the knowledge and you know your stuff. So the third tip is practice, practice, practice. Practice on your own and apply your knowledge in hands-on. So how would you do that? If you are aspiring to be a computer technician, you can uh, purchase old PC or you can ask from your friends or family if they have some PC or laptop that they are not using and you can start actually uh, taking out the parts, putting it back together and replacing those parts. That's a one way to learn how to do stuff hands-on and to apply what you've learned from the books that you've read and the classes you took and the certifications that you passed. If you are an aspiring programmer, you can just uh, download a programming language software in your computer and then practice the codes that you've been studying and then there's a lot of all uh, simulations also to those who are aspiring to be in networking or in hardware there's packet tracer simulation tool for networking and a lot of stuff that you can do on your own just to gain that hands-on skill that employers require so guys, we are now making a lot of progress here. You know your stuff, you've been studying, you passed the certifications, you have been practicing on your own so that you could apply your knowledge into hands-on skill. What's next? So that's gonna be my tip number four, how to get an experience if nobody wants to hire you is to volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer, market yourself. So one good way to start volunteering is to volunteer your skills to your family. For example, you can fix their computer, you can install software for them, you can install their Wi-Fi, you can help them troubleshoot stuff. And that's a way, that's a hands-on experience that is actually in a real life scenario. And that would help you learn on how to uh, do stuff on your own, apply your uh, knowledge from what you've learned, what you've studied. What's next after that? Here comes tip number five. Network your skills. So if you know that you are confident enough that you have the knowledge and the skills and the ability to get the job done in IT and to get your foot in the door in IT, how do you get the employers or companies notice you? This is where you network or market yourself. There's a lot of ways to network yourself or your skills. One easy way is word of mouth. So if you have any friends or family, tell them that you are ready to find a job in IT, that you've done this and that, that you are certified. Because most of the time they know somebody and 
somebody from a company or somebody they know, know somebody in that company that could help you out. Most of the time, um, it's really not what you know, but it's who you know. I hear that a lot and that's very, very true. If you know somebody or somebody knows somebody, that's really a good uh, way to start out in IT. So another way is to make use of the technology we have right now which is the internet of course because everybody is accessing it now. Everybody has the access to internet, everybody is in it and it has a much larger scope than word of mouth sometimes or than just by applying walk-ins or just sending your resume to all the companies that you know. So I hope you guys learned something from this video I made and I hope this helps you land your very first career in IT and I hope that this will give you an idea on how to just start off even if you have no formal education, training, background or work history. I also hope you won't be feeling hopeless and giving up on pursuing a career in IT or technology if you really really are passionate about it. Just uh, be patient, work hard, persevere, be dedicated, study, practice, practice, practice. So if you have more questions, please don't hesitate to ask me by leaving a comment or question down below. I would be happy to answer your questions. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video once again. And I'll see you in my next Ask Ariana episode. Thank you so much.